Hey, this is Mark Williams of Swine Life Barbecue. Today we're doing a whole picnic shoulder. I love a picnic for all the great pork flavors it has to offer. I'm gonna show you a simple recipe, just some kosher salt and hickory smoke. What makes this recipe so good is the white vinegar and hot sauce we're gonna finish this with once we build our sandwich. I can't wait to dive in. Let's get started. Now you can see this picnic still has a skin on and that's what I love about it. So with this skin, we're just gonna score it so it opens up, we can get that salt underneath that skin, help it dry out. Hopefully we can crisp the skin up good enough or we can chop it and mix it in the pulled meat as well. So we're gonna start with a good sharp knife. And we're just gonna do some fairly large scores, probably about a quarter to a half inch down. Try to keep your line just straight. Don't get quite as crooked as I did. And come right back across it. The skin can be kind of tough, so you need to have a definitely a good sharp knife. See that fat underneath that skin? That's gonna help render this. Once we render that fat under that skin, that's gonna allow that skin to crisp up and we should be able to crackle it just like you would cracklings and get in our sandwich. The next thing is just kosher salt. Now this is a coarse salt. I highly recommend using a coarser salt. And we're gonna go heavy. This is the only seasoning we're putting on this pork. So it's not gonna hurt if you go heavy. Don't be scared of it. This is gonna help that skin dry out. It's gonna add a ton of great porky flavor. And it's just gonna make this picnic shine. That's the best part about it. Definitely do this on a cutting board outside or in a pan, because it's gonna go everywhere. Flip it over. Same thing, I'm not touching it. Hopefully we'll render all this fat. I'm gonna start this cook meat side up, because I wanna build a great bark, a great crust. And then a couple hours in, we're gonna flip this shoulder over and start crisping that skin best we can before we wrap it in butcher paper. So now that we got the picnic shoulder salted, we're gonna let this pit come up to temp get some hickory wood going, and then we're getting it in some smoke. So for this recipe, of course, we're cooking on our outlaw patio. You gotta have that hickory smoke when you're cooking a picnic shoulder. We'll get our fire basket loaded with some Royal Oak all natural briquettes, get our tumbleweeds lit, and let this baby get to going. Once we get a good bed of coals, we'll then start adding our splits of hickory. After about 20 minutes, we'll be ready to put these picnic shoulders on. So this outlaw's right at 275. We're finna get our picnic shoulder on. I'm gonna go directly in the middle and get all kind of hickory smoke in my eyes. I'm gonna put our collar opposite of the firebox. That way all the heat hits this meat. It's gonna start crisping up. You'll see this soft, it'll dry out, and it's gonna form a crust. We'll show you that once it gets to that point. Man, I can't wait. But what they say, if you're looking, you ain't cooking, so we better get the lid shut and let this outlaw do its job. So this picnic shoulder's been on the pit for about two and a half hours, and I want y'all to come in and check it out. Look at this salt. It's made an excellent crust on the outside of that pork. That's what we're looking for. Skin on that collar starting to look good, but we're gonna go ahead and flip it. That way the other side can get good and crispy. I'm gonna go ahead and sprinkle just a little bit more salt on it since some of that may have come off. Just like that. We'll get the lid shut, keep on cooking. All right, so this picnic shoulder's been on the pit four hours. Let's get it over here on some butcher paper so we can get it wrapped up. Y'all check out that skin. Man, that's got great crust on it. It's done dried out good. That's gonna be an excellent bite later on. So we got two sheets of butcher paper layered over just to get good coverage. Now I'm just gonna drizzle a little bit of white vinegar on the shoulder and on the paper as well. And one flip. Wrap it one more time. We're skin side back up. It's going right back on the pit. Before we shut the lid, I got my Thermalworks dot. We're gonna go ahead and get a probe in this so we can keep our eye on it. Come right down here and just go dead center into the thickest part. Try to stay away from those bones. We're gonna take this picnic to 200, get the lid closed, keep on cooking. So after six and a half hours, this picnic shoulder's hit 200 degrees. It's time to get it up and let it rest. We're gonna slide the probe out of the way. Carefully reaching here. Make sure it feels tender, it does. Now, in a normal circumstance, I would let this rest about three hours. But filming purposes, we're gonna let it rest about 20 minutes, kinda let it cool off. Then we're gonna break it down and show you what this pork's all about, build us a sandwich, and it's supper time. All right, so we let this picnic shoulder rest for about 20 minutes. Just as a quick recap, we start off a nine pound whole picnic shoulder. We scored the skin, seasoned it with some good kosher salt, and got it in some hickory smoke. Now, this was about a six and a half hour cook at 300 degrees. We took it to 200. I know it should be good and tender. Now I'm gonna show you how I break this picnic down, incorporate some of them flavors I love on pork, and build me a sandwich. Now it doesn't matter how many times I cook one of these picnic shoulders. Unwrapping this is like Christmas morning. You never know what's under this gift wrap. You just hope it's some beautiful pork. So far, so good. You got greasy butcher paper. It's bound to be something good in it. 
take our time, make sure we don't let it fall apart. And check that out. Beautiful color. I'm fishing to try to gently pick this up. Now that's what I call good looking pork. Got great color on the skin. It feels like I'll be able to chop some of it, especially some of these pieces right here. Super crispy. I'm excited to try this. So check it out. This skin looks great. I'm gonna go ahead and pull some of these off. See if they're crispy. Get those out of the way. We'll stack them over the side. Some of them's gonna be great for this. Some of them may not be there. You want it to be hard and crispy? Snaps just like that. Look at that moisture underneath the skin. That is awesome. Now this collar, that skin there's probably not gonna be as good just cause it's a little rubbery. So I'm gonna sit it to the side. Bone jumped out of there. We know it's done. Keep on breaking this little picnic shoulder down. I mean, check that out. That's white pork meat that's still full of moisture. Excellent cook on it. Now, like I said earlier, I would definitely like this to rest at least three or four hours, but just for tonight's purposes, we're gonna break it down. I gotta eat me some supper. Might have to give that one a try. Mm, that's just pork. That is exactly how pork should taste. Good salty flavor, but you taste the hog. And I mean, that's the reason we cook pork. So now that we got our pile of pulled pork, got my Killer Hogs hot sauce. We're gonna drizzle it right over the top. Use your favorite hot sauce. You just want a good vinegar taste. Hit it with a little bit more white vinegar and then just a light layer. Salt to go with it. Get that incorporated in. Now you know I can't have all this pulled pork here and not build me a sandwich. Got a little mayo. Just a simple pulled pork sandwich. That's what I'm going for. Say a little mayo, I ain't gonna lie. My mayo fam will go a little heavy. Of course, go in here, get us some of this beautiful pulled pork. Hit it with just a little bit more vinegar for my liking. Touch of hot sauce. Simple hog on a bun. That's what I'm going for. I can't wait. Hmm. That's my favorite way to eat it. You taste all them beautiful pork flavors, the tang from the vinegar, the little heat from the hot sauce, just a touch of salt. I'm telling you, it's not as salty as you think it would be. That's delicious. That's a wrap for us today at Swine Life. We appreciate y'all checking this video out. Give this recipe a try. If you want just good eating pulled pork, this is where it's at. If y'all got any questions, shoot us a message on Facebook or Instagram. And as always, like and subscribe to the channel, and we'll see y'all next time. I'm gonna get over on these skins. Woo!